New on WLWT, a man from Cincinnati is getting a second chance at life after receiving a liver transplant. Yeah, so the past few months have been really, really tough, but for this patient, there is a silver lining. And as WLWT News Post, Nicole Aponte shows us tonight, he's fallen back on his family to get through the toughest of times. Chuck Grosser. I mean, I feel better when I get this out, but I'm not gonna drive until next week till I get him out. Never takes these walks with his sister, Lisa. Again, you're more than welcome to come over each day or you want to cut down to one day, whatever you want to do. For granted. He has just been my, he's my world. They always make time for each other. Remember when dad was sick? Do you remember that at all, how hot it was? I remember wearing shorts and I remember sitting outside of mom's garage talking on the phone. Chuck has relied on his family now more than ever. It's very difficult, but here I am, so I'm thankful. A few months ago, Chuck went to UC Medical for a hernia removal. His doctor gave him unexpected news. I went down there with a mindset of getting my hernia repaired, and I walked out of there needing a liver transplant. Chuck played the waiting game. There were two calls from the hospital for a potential match, but no luck. I have to be patient. It's going to happen. You gotta stay the course and you gotta have faith. Then, mid-September, he got a call that would give him a second shot at life. I'm on speakerphone with the rest of my family trying to get them to come down because it was finally a match and it was finally time to go. The Grosser family is no stranger to health struggles. Chuck's father also had a compromised organ before his liver failed back in 2018. It's just one of the parallels he has with his late father's health journey. I can't help but think how involved he was or how much he was looking over me. And it was just as ironic as can be that, you know, he kind of laid the groundwork for me to go through it and be successful. Um, and I'm sure he was looking down over me, making sure I was safe as well. Chuck's surgery was successful. He was discharged on September 25th. It's the same date Chuck's late father was released from the hospital six years ago. His father was also waiting for a liver donation. The hospital couldn't find him a match. He died that October. So maybe it was all designed for, you know, him to go through it not get it, pass, and now I have the protection I need for somebody to guide me. If life is a journey, it should never be walked alone. And then he had that opportunity for the transplant and gave him a second chance of life. Chuck says he has his sister beside him and his father looking down from above. In Reading, Nicola Ponte, WLWT News 5.